Okay, we're going to review the uh, four different types of precipitation. Uh, let's remember that we have uh, rain, snow, sleet, and hail. And the reason that uh, precipitation falls in different um, forms is because of the air underneath the clouds. So clouds always start with little ice pellets. Uh, and that's because it's so cold up in the atmosphere that once the water condenses, it instantly turns into ice crystals. And the reason that we have rain is because the air below the clouds is warm. And when that air is warm, the ice crystals drop, but they melt on the way down. So that's why we have rain. Uh, snow is just the opposite. The air below the cloud is actually cold. So those ice crystals that fall from the clouds remain as ice crystals. So that's why we have snow, because the cold air just leaves the ice crystals as they were up in the clouds. Uh, sleet is halfway between rain and snow, and the air below uh, is pretty much the same halfway between rain and snow. Uh, the top layer of air is warm air because warm air always rises and the bottom layer of air is cold air. And what happens is, is the ice crystals fall and they melt because of the warm air and then the um, rain meets the cold air and sorts starts to freeze again. So you have Half rain, half snow. It's like a semi-melted snowflake or a semi-frozen raindrop. And that's what sleet is. And hail is actually a little bit different. Hail, in order for hail to fall, uh, the air below the clouds can be warm or cold. Uh, that's not the important thing. What's important is that a front moves in, a cold front moves in, pushes that warm air up quite violently. Um, you'll probably have those cumulonimbus clouds, the really big clouds. And what happens is as the warm air gets pushed up into the atmosphere, um, the snow or the rain, whatever is falling, gets pushed back up into the cloud. And when it gets pushed back up, it gets a new layer of water on it, which freezes and then that might drop and it might get pushed back up again and build up a layer and it continually gets pushed back up into the cloud building up layer upon layer of ice and the ice eventually will fall to the earth as hail. Now it doesn't matter if it's warm or cold because you can have hail in the middle of summer or you can have hail in the middle of winter. What's required is that wind that scoops the precipitation back up into the clouds and has it uh, form into a ball of ice.